Oh, Randall's not a bum. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. How you a bum, but you call, score 20, you have 20.16 rebounds and five assists. Those are not bum numbers to me. How is that a bum? You got to get out of here with that. You got to get out of here with that. How is that a bum? 20, 16, and 5. Those are not bum stats. And, and most people will still say that, yo, he wasn't even playing good tonight. But those are the stats that he end up with with the W, bro. You feel me? Like, y'all got to chill out. Bum. That's the wrong word. That's the wrong word you, you use in 20, 16, and 5. That's not a bum, son. That's not a bum, Steven. Oh, that's not seven. Seven. Seven sevens. Seven sevens. I thought it was Steven. Yeah, that's not a bum, son. 2016 to 5. You need to you need to uh reevaluate what your definition of a bum is. You feel me? And we got the dub. And we got the dub. And he was smart enough to defer to the hot hand going down the stretch. He could have tried to force the issue to close out this game, but he didn't. He was giving the ball to Evan. He was giving the ball to Alec. He was giving the ball to IQ because that's smart basketball. He, he That's smart basketball. He knew Evan had it going. You know what? I don't need to force the issue. I'm going to give Evan the ball. You know what? Alec just made two tough shots. He got it, got it going. Let me give Alec the ball. IQ is shooting. Get ahead. Let me shoot. put some screens for you. IQ, so you can shoot because you're making threes right now. That's smart basketball. I mean, a, a, a granted, some people want their, their their leader to take, you know, the last shots. And and, and but if, if guys are are, sh are scoring, if your, your your role players are scoring, and you have that kind of help, and you know you're being doubled every time you touch the ball, why not get the ball to people who have the hot hand? My man has 20, 16, and 5, bro. How, what are y'all? Yo, some of y'all Knicks fans be killing me, bro. Y'all be killing me. Trey Randall, do this, do that. Yo, the sad part about it is he's still averaging 20, 10, and 5. And he's quote-unquote struggling. You feel me? Now, think about that. We're talking about how much Julius Randall is struggling. And he's still averaging 20, 10, and 5. That doesn't sound like a bum to me. That doesn't sound like a bum to me. We talking about a man that's struggling playing basketball, averaging 20, 10, and 5. He had 20, 16, and 5 tonight, bro. Y'all got to chill. Y'all got to chill. You got get me hot. Y'all get me hot, bro. Like, what? <laughs> he was five from eight from three tonight. Oh, no. That was, that was from the free throw. Excuse me. He was three for five. Oh, no. Excuse me. He was one for five <laughs> from three. Bro, y'all be bugging, bro. Y'all be bugging. Y'all be bugging, bro. Y'all, you know, it, how, I'm I just confused. It, it just baffles me that, I, you know, I'm on all of these Nick pages. Shout out to all the pages that don't delete my content. You know what I mean? Because I, I, a lot of my people be sharing it on y'all on y'all Nick pages. And I appreciate y'all for not deleting my content. You know what I mean? Uh, but, yeah, I be in all these pages. And I be reading some of these posts. And the way y'all disrespect Julius Randle is, is outrageous, bro. Y'all be talking about trade this man. This man led us to our first playoffs in almost a decade. Where's the respect? Where's the respect? And again, we talking about a man that's struggling, averaging a double-double, a 20-point double, double-double, double, double, and a, a forward that's averaging over five assists a game. Thomas, how can they be spoiled? What? How? When are they? When have they been used to winning? We we haven't been a, a you we, what? How are they spoiled? <laughs> what spoiled them so quick? One season? They're ungrateful. You feel me? I got to put some respect on Julius Randle's name. I'm not I'm not tolerating no Julius Randle slander. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. 
Because when nobody else wanted to be a Nick, nobody else wanted to come here, he came here, and his whole purpose is to try to get us a chip. You feel me? And he's struggling right now, but at the same time, we're talking about a man who's, who, who's quote-unquote struggling. We're talking about a man who's quote-unquote struggling and still averaging 20, 10, and 5. You feel me like that? That's why I think y'all bugging. Y'all be calling him trash, and he's struggling, still averaging 20, 10, and 5. Y'all ridiculous, bro. <laughs> y'all ridiculous, bro. You feel me? Like, y'all got to put some respect on my god name, bro. Y'all got to. Y'all got to. That just kind of threw me off. That just kind of threw me off, bro. That just kind of threw me off. Uh, you know, Dan, which is, which is a great question. What happened to his game? I can tell you exactly what's happening to his game, right? Uh, I can tell you exactly what's happened to his game, Dan. Um, everybody's kind of employing the uh, the strategy that uh, the Hawks use against the Knicks, especially since the other starting five is struggling shooting the basketball. It makes it so much easier for them to do that, right? Uh, as soon as Julius Randle get the ball, they shrink the court. You got you got four men in the box. You got four men in the box against Julius Randle. When he turns and he posts up or he faces up, he sees four men with a one foot at least in, in, in the paint against him. Almost every time. But nights like tonight, you know, when, when guys are hitting the three-point shot, it makes it a lot easier for him to get to the basket. And when we in transition, and I think he needs to speed the ball up a little bit. I think he needs the... Uh, I think he needs the uh, trust in his point guards a little bit more. Uh, let Kemba bring the ball up the court, set more screens for Kemba, and that would make it easier for him. You know, Julius Randle before he came to the Knicks, he was a great, he was a great pick and roll guy, great pick and roll guy, great, great pick and roll, pick and pop, great at it. You feel me? Um, now he got guys that he can actually run, go back to that action with. You feel me? Being Kemba Walker and, and, and Derrick Rose. And he, he would succeed tremendously in that, that role. You know, he still could be the leader as a pick and roll man. Like Carl Malone was the leader of the, the Utah Jazz, but he was the pick and pop pick and roll man for that team. You know? And, and scored a lot of baskets. <laughs> and scored a lot of baskets. Especially when you got dynamic point guards like Derrick Rose and Kemba Walker. They, they, defenses have to pay Kemba Walker and, and Derrick Rose attention coming off the screen. Now, when Julius Randle slides, there's going to be a lot of open shots and there's going to be a lot of mismatches for him. He just needs to trust him to make the right decisions coming off the screens and get and relinquish the ball to them a lot more. I hate to see Julius Randle sometimes dribble out the shot clock and pass it to somebody for a last second shot. I hate it, but yeah, yeah. But you know, sometimes that do leads to some some good shots for the team. 